Now, what about if I want to make a fraction equal to one-third? I'm going to go ahead and start with my whole. And then I'm going to take my whole and create three parts. So I have one part out of three, two parts out of three, three parts out of three. Now, I can also go ahead and make my one whole as a number line. So I would have zero out of three. Then I would have my one whole, which would be three out of three. Now I would go ahead and create my one third, two thirds, three thirds. If I want to find my equivalent to again one third, I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture again. So I have right here my one third. When I find an equivalent fraction to my one-third again, I'm going to take my one-third. I'm going to go ahead and write my one-third. However, I'm now going to go ahead and find an equivalent fraction, so I bet if I go ahead and go right here, I know that I went from a one to two parts shaded. So, whatever I do to the numerator, I do to the denominator. which is going to give me 2 over 6, which matches what my picture is. However, now I'm a little wondering and curious, what about if I want to make another equivalent fraction to one-third? I know I'm going to go ahead and split again into my one-thirds. I'm just going to go ahead and shade again. All right. And now, I bet I can split this into three equal parts. One, two, three. Yep, and I know I'm going to start with my one-third. I split this into three parts. So now I have three over nine is my next equivalent fraction. Let's see if this works with going into four pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and shade again. Then I'm going to go ahead and split it one, two, three. And I see that, yep, I started with one third. Then I split it into four pieces to get four pieces out of 12. Man, yep. I could go through and I could make equivalent fractions to one-third, which is one-third is equal to two-sixths, which is also equal to three-ninths, which is also equal to four-twelfths. Dang!